Oh, dude, vegan for the animals all day. You don't think that plants have protein? Like, dude, look at me, bro. I have all these muscles, dude. I definitely care about the animals. And also, dude, if you haven't seen my uh, ebook, it's definitely not overpriced at all. Please buy it. This is all about the animals. There's no way that I'm just this random Instagram narcissist that just cares about the way I look and my gains. Just because my Instagram is filled with pictures of me shirtless doesn't mean that I don't care about the animals. I just went vegan and I feel so in touch with the wild nature right now. Oh my my god look at this t-shirt look at this monkey everything is amazing i feel so in touch with life right now i can't wait to tell my family and friends all about veganism my family and friends are going to be so supportive and so happy and they're gonna go vegan too and we're gonna have this big vegan hug oh everything is great everything is so amazing do you have an argument for that claim i need p1 p2 in a conclusion, I need to know your normative theory that is driving your ethical code. Are you familiar with the hierarchy of evidence? Mechanistic speculation. I am presenting to you a systematic review and a meta-analysis in favor of eating a vegan diet. What is your normative theory? Do you know what an argument is? Can you name the trait present in cows which justifies killing them for food? which if we're present in a human being would justify killing a human being for food? Animals are cool and I don't want them to be stabbed. But really, I just like to debate people. Joey Carbstrong? Oh, no. I'm nothing like him. I'm not like other vegans. I don't care what you eat, what you do. I don't care about that. Don't worry. Those other vegans like blah, blah, blah. Oh my God, shut the fuck up, right? Another vegan told you that you should go vegan because animal cruelty is wrong. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm not like that. I do me, you do you, the animals die. It's totally cool. Everything's fine. No worries. Oh, they said you should watch Dominion. I mean, yeah, it's watch it if you want, but I mean, don't feel pressured or anything. I'm not the kind of vegan that's going to make you feel bad, all right? I mean, come on, I'm wearing sunglasses now. You see, I'm a cool vegan. Everything's cool here. I guarantee you that I will share on my social media the newest mock vegan product that comes out before you do. Yeah, I mean, I really haven't seen Forks Over Knives, What the Health, or any documentary that has anything to do with health. And I traditionally just consume Ben and & Jerry's and Gardein, and, and I don't really care about the whole whole foods, plant-based thing. I've basically tried every single vegan junk food there is. As much shit as junk food vegans get, I think that we really care way more about animals than, you know, the whole whole food plant-based vegans. Only direct action is activism. ALF for life. We can only change the world by burning shit down, sabotaging companies, and causing loads of property damage. We need to smash speciesism with our fists. Every other form of activism is useless. Fuck white celebrities. Earthling Ed, he's just a lifestyle blogger. Everyone who doesn't do direct action is just a cupcake vegan. Of course, I don't attend any vigils or real activist events. I go to like, you know, potlucks and food festivals. I just love to eat vegan food. If you want non-vegans to like you, just do what I do and don't question them about their clearly immoral habits. If you look at my shirt, it says vegan-ish, okay? Not everybody is perfect. We can't be judgmental. At the end of the day, it's people's choice to eat animals. Don't push the vegan lifestyle on the people. People like Joey Carbstrong, they just are hurting the movement and we just have to be nice and lead by example. It's perfectly okay to allow people to pay for pigs to be put into gas chambers. Veganism and animal rights was just so much more powerful back when I was doing it. I wish we were back in the old days where people used to have, you know, strategy and tactics and things like that rather than just going out and doing things that they think will work without actually checking if they'll work or not. Yeah, I have loads of incredible knowledge from my over 20 years working in animal rights, but instead of giving it on to other people in a productive and constructive way, what I tend to do is actually shit on other people instead and get very jealous of new activists who are having much more success than I ever had. Social media activism, it's not working guys. Out reach. It's not working guys. Vigils. It's not working guys. Disruptions. Kind of not working guys. The movement has kind of lost its way. Modern animal rights is a joke. Earthling Ged, James Aspie, Joey Carbstrong. We don't need these people guys. Vegan influencers with their Patreon accounts. No one needs these people. We don't need these people in our movement. Nothing is as effective as this action that I did 25 years ago that I actually went to prison for. Everything else that's happened after that has been completely ineffective and pointless. Yeah, so I actually had a cheat day the other day where instead of eating absolutely nothing but my piss, I had like half an avocado. That's kind of overdoing it with my calories. And I just finished like a 70 day water fast. The fact that anyone here even thinks that I'm like, gonna be an ex-vegan, just what? Joey Carbstrong is too aggressive. James Aspie takes inappropriate photos at slaughterhouses. Evelyn Ed just talks to people. Me? Oh no, I don't do any activism at all, no, no. How do I know what's good or bad activism? I just do, all right? 
It, don't worry about that. Dude, you should be more polite with people. Dude, you should be more aggressive with people. I've never done any activism, but I know what good activism is, all right? I know what I'm talking about. You're way too soft. What are you, an animal abuse apologist? You're way too harsh on people. What are you, trying to turn people off veganism? I'm not an activist, but I know better than activists. That's why I leave comments all over other activists' social media to make sure they know how to do it right. Yeah, honestly, just fuck humanity as a whole. If it were up to me, I would just blow up a nuke that kills off every single human being on this planet. I'm not against the COVID vaccine because it was tested on animals. I'm against it because it helps human beings not die. Fuck humanity. Humans are cancer. What do you mean some human beings aren't that bad? Every single human being on this planet is a massive piece of garbage and they need to be annihilated immediately. Wayne Hussing is God. Only disruptions and rescues are effective. <laughs> Don't call yourself vegan. It's bad for the movement. Oh my God, I love Wayne. Let's all move in together because that's definitely not gonna cause any interpersonal problems with all the high pressure activism that we're doing. It's definitely not gonna make us completely disconnected from the real world. No way. Hey Wayne, could you sign this for me? No, no, DXC is not a cult. DXC is not a cult. It's not a cult. We're definitely not a cult. Dude, vegan for life. I mean, I got my vegan mask, got my vegan shirt, got my vegan bumper stickers, got my only, you know, vegan friends. By default, if you're a vegan, you're a good person. If you're a racist vegan, doesn't matter. I mean, you're a vegan. Vegans are just superior to everybody. I have an Earthling Ed poster and a Joey Carbstrong poster in my room, actually. Being vegan is just my identity. There's nothing outside of being vegan. Veganism is everything. Fuck anything that has nothing to do with veganism because veganism is everything. When you consume animal products, you are consuming fear and suffering. Evidence is a subjective construct of vibration. Vibrations, negative energy, and the whole that is one, and the one that is whole, paying for animals to suffer is just the negative energy you consume, vibrations, chakras, and then and then like astrology, and then rocks. That was coherent, right? Uh, yeah, and uh, spiritual yogis that aren't vegan should go fuck themselves. What's up guys, David Rams here. I'm out here on the streets with Anonymous for the voiceless. And look, if you're not vegan, I'm gonna come over to your house and I'm gonna slap your fucking mum. Outreach is the only way we're gonna change the world, okay? If you're not vegan, what are you? What are you? An animal abusing asshole. Outreach is the most effective form of activism there is. Paul Bashir, God, obviously. Calling people animal abusing pieces of shit is the most effective way to get them to go vegan. What do you mean, does it turn them off? No, it makes them want to be vegan. Why are you doing that when you could be doing some outreach? Um, go and do some outreach. Yes, I do travel up and down the country going to different outreach events. Is there a problem with that? So when did you decide to stop caring about animals? What was the exact moment you became an animal abusing piece of shit? What other ways that don't involve animal abuse do you think you could get protein? Oh, me? Oh, one day I just decided that I didn't want to be an animal abuser anymore and it was that easy. What do you mean I'm too aggressive? The only thing that's too aggressive is what happens to the animals, you fuck. Oh, my anonymous for the voiceless tattoo. It's actually here. It's just like on the ribs, just there. Like it's fresh, don't want to get it out. But yeah, it's there. Oh, yeah, big, AV. Oh my God, your veganism doesn't talk about people of color, you're racist. Your veganism doesn't talk about minorities, you're racist. Your veganism doesn't talk about trans people, you are a transphobe. If you are trying to push veganism onto indigenous people, you are nothing but a colonialist. Do not push your veganism onto people in the LGBT community, all right? that would be homophobic. White veganism is the problem. If you use the word rape in your vegan activism, you are a rape enabler. And if you use the word Holocaust, you are anti-Semitic. Please don't use words accurately because that would be anti-Semitic and rape enabling. And if you use the word slavery, I mean, obviously you're a racist. Silence is violence. And basically if you're incapable of balancing all kinds of oppression and putting all kinds of oppression in your vegan activism, you're a racist. I'm offended every day. The fact that my alarm went off this morning offended me. Everything that I do just offends me. The fact that I'm sitting here right now offends me. My hair offends me. Making vegan dog meat would be appropriating Asian culture. I'm offended. Dude, even vegans don't get your weird, stupid wannabe sense of irony here. W who is your audience? Nobody gets these dumb jokes. Dude, even vegans don't get your weird, stupid,